Hi, I'm doing a review of my Achilles sword from the film Troy. I want to show you the plaque first. And it's supposed to be like a shield, which is quite nice. I like the little bolts. It's nice. Cheap wood, but it holds it fair enough. So it's all good, really. And the actual sword itself is very detailed. It looks almost... I think it is pretty much the same. The blade is anyway. It's the same as the one in the film. Apart from the handle, in the film it's wood. And there's little red spots in the holes. And the blade is quite thick compared to the one in the film as well. But this is designed for reenactments. So it's going to need to be quite durable. It's made of steel, not brass. Which you can tell because there's little spots where the paint has come off which was actually like that when I bought it which is kind of disappointing but it's not really noticeable when it's just for display it's quite heavy as well surprisingly heavy actually you could probably work out with this thing to be honest <laughs> it's probably heavier than my Scalibur sword and yes the painting is nice <laughs> um I got it from a website called HellenicArt.com. Now, if you were going through Google looking for to buy this sword, you probably wouldn't click on the website because of the title of the website, because you'd think it's just an artist picture website. But it's actually yes, a replica of all Greek stuff. You can get armour on there, multiple swords. They're quite good as well. And this is good steel as well, because it's for reenactments, so it's quite strong. But... It's just because it's got paint on it, you wouldn't want to damage it too much. It's probably why the handle is metal, to you know, keep the strength of it, really. And it's blunt as well, because it's a reenactment, so you can't have a sharp blade in a reenactment, obviously. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's about it.